So if you get extraneous text, look to see if it says things like buy and purchase and that kind of stuff. Uh, Google will not allow you to call a product buy. They want the product to be the product. And it worked well. It just wasn't very profitable or very scalable. We kept getting suspensions and disapprovals every other week until we found out a way to say it the, the right way. So again, it's it's such a gray area when we're talking about trying to abbreviate or get around it that you do that seven times and seven in place on your site, then you get suspended and you're like, well, now I gotta go back and find out where that was. So it's even sometimes harder to get you to do things Google's way. All the recommendations and all the auto applies. And then we get to turn around in and say, absolutely, we will do all of that once we're no longer in a sprout. <laughs> so you have to leverage what they need to do and they will go hunt people down for you. They'll open up tickets, they'll send you ticket updates. It's pretty cool. So we say, sure, I'm not gonna do that though because my, my campaign's broken. I'm thinking about leaving Google. Huh? Okay, um, what about abbreviations, John? Uh, oh, no. So that's the thing too, is Google's gonna scan everything and they understand English. Uh, they understand every language, essentially. So if you say like whole plant H, if you get suspended or disapproved, yeah, it's it's you know probably reason why or like you know C space D uh, C space B space D you know like those seven things like you're you're really not going to be able to kind of like trick Google. Um, and a good rule of thumb too is everyone's trying to be tricking the book, and if you try to Google like CBD, you won't see ads for it for a reason. Um, we have run ads to a company uh, before actually uh, called. Um, no, it's still around. Yeah, it is. Um, he put this back on because he stopped running ads. But uh, so that was the reason why it's like we said, hey, he's like, it's just not really working without ads. I'm just going to go organic and I'm just going to do social, that kind of stuff. So, okay. So you'll see that this isn't imagery that's about THC or, or CBD. You have no idea what that is. That looks like, you know, candy. D8 gummy variety. He, he made up his own product names. Would you like to buy D8? Everyone knows what this was. He just couldn't say it. So this part here, he had, you know, the TAC was gone. Um, is like the derived, so you couldn't even say derived from TAC. You can say like industrial hemp, like, okay, perfect. Like industrial hemp was about like hand lotion. You could say that, but then he just said, I'm just going to add TAC everywhere and see if I can do it this way. And it worked well. It just wasn't very profitable and very scalable. We kept getting suspensions and disapprovals every other week until we found out a way to say it the, the right way. So again, it's it's such a gray area when we're talking about trying to abbreviate or get around it that you do that seven times and seven in place on your site, then you get suspended and you're like, well, now I got to go back and find out where that was. So it's even sometimes harder. Shabam sent a comment also in, in the chat about a case uh, with another client who got suspended due to mistress presentation issue. They tried to fix it, but it has not been fixed yet. Uh, GNC support have the same answer every time. Everything is okay. Just go ahead and submit the review. Oh, so it's not GMC support. That's, that's Lander, was it GMC support that we reached out to? Yeah, yes. It was so GMC support. GMC support and the rep are two different departments. Um, and that's what's interesting. The rep, the people that try to get you to go ahead and auto apply all the recommendations, they're there to make you uh, to get you to do things Google's way, all the recommendations and all the auto applies. And then we get to turn around in and say, absolutely. We will do all of that once we're no longer in a sprout. <laughs> so you have to leverage what they need to do and they will go hunt people down for you. They'll open up tickets. They'll send you ticket updates. It's pretty cool. Their, their job is to get you to do what they need, what they're trying to get paid for. And if you say, no, 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 they don't get paid. So we say, sure, I'm not gonna do that though because my, my campaign's broken. I'm thinking about leaving Google. Oh, good way to do that. What happens when they actually get the thing done and then you have to follow all the recommendations? Oh, I did it. I followed the recommendations. And then three days later, I sent up an email saying, I lost 40% of my conversions. I changed this back. Let's talk about this later. And then I just avoid them. <laughs> awesome. We have another question. Um, can we add phrases like buy in the, product titles, like if we try to include keywords in the title that contain the word buy, would it cause any disapprovals? You will get an error called extraneous text. So uh, buy and uh, sometimes even sale, you'll actually get uh, strenu extraneous text. 
because you're adding a actionable verb uh, that Google will not allow you to run. Um, so if you get extraneous text, look to see if it says things like buy and purchase and that kind of stuff. Uh, Google will not allow you to call a product buy. They want the product to be the product. I think Aria and you. Okay. Yep. No, no, I was just saying good to know. Okay. Um, there, are no, there are no more questions in the chat. Anybody else? This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, my question is about a client. I think you recently met with them. It's a supplement company. So recently, they had uh, like uh, more than 200 products disapproved. And mm -hmm. among them were like uh, previously approved best-seller products. So they raw ass took a little bit of a dip. I won't. And yeah, I, I know this. I just recorded. Uh, so I won't say their name if we ever want to use them. But um, is this the? It starts with two words. S U P. The second word is E X P. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I went into Google. I tried to find like why they suddenly got disapproved. It's as you said, like the vaguest of explanations. This uh, violation of Google policies. No explanation. Nothing at all. Like I even went through forbidden pharmaceuticals list to see if there's an ingredient flag or something. Get in a hopefully call with this Google support, not with the representative, but support. They're like, oh, let me like, take a look at it. And they're like, yeah, you know what? We have no, uh, no idea why this is disapproved. So why don't you go ahead and delete this, try to create a new one? I'm like, sure, but I would like, any idea why I'm getting disapproved for some reason so I can at least get some sense of idea why I should do to at least avoid getting flagged again. I check Google, I see the same product, same description, same everything being advertised. I even send them a screenshot. Hey, you're allowing our competitors to one of the, uh, I think it was uh, one, uh, one test tester on, same from the same company. Yeah, that one's the second one, one test tester on. Yep. Uh, if you search for it, there's ads running for this specific product, but ours are getting repeatedly disapproved. I tried changing descriptions, product titles, removing GTI, and I even went to a Shopify page, yep. uh, turned the description into an image, still got flagged. So my question is, I'm trying to at least save some of their best sellers because like mm -hmm. they have a product nine dollar male enhancer something it brings a lot of conversions i'm mm -hmm. not trying to save all 300 200 of them my uh, question is is there something that i can do to do it or and my second follow-up question would be if i try too many times to you know circumvent google's algorithm would i get in trouble or suspension or anything like that? would you say try a few times but if you fail don't try it any further you'll get a suspension Yep. So um, from first thing, there's a few uh, uh, products you will never be able to get around. I told that that to him yesterday, and I actually laughed about it. And he told me the backstory, and it's actually a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant form of marketing. So one testosterone, Anavar, um, uh, Androdol, uh, Dianabol, Decabolin, these uh, equ equ Equibolin, this is names of actual steroids. Actual steroids. So Dianabol was street named D ball. Uh, pro, it's actually not a pro hormone. Pro hormones are banned. I told him about that too because he says, hey, it's not a pro hormone. It's actually called muscle building. Well, Google still sees testosterone pro hormones in the title and, and of the products that are that are being pulled into ours as well. They, they understand what we're selling. But the uh, Dianabol, D ball, what, had, what he said he's brilliant. He goes, the actual brand name of the steroid went uh went up for essentially it was a renewal of the copyright they let it last so he bought the copyright so this is basically like saying hey our product's called heroin like that's literally what's going on to google's eyes or crack cocaine we we're never going to get around that because they literally use the exact name word for letter for letter of the actual steroid 
So I'm like, it's brilliant because anybody looking for like buy, you know, D ball or Dyna ball online, um, yeah, they're they're gonna find it. Now it actually doesn't have D ball in it. It's not a real real steroid. They just call it that. So for those type of things, testosterone, there's uh, test two fifty, test five hundred, test cipronate, and test enthanate. Those are actual steroids for TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, from a doctor. He calls it the same thing. So I was talking to him yesterday. I said, you know, he's like, what are we going to do on this one? I'm like, ah, we're just going to have to keep, keep begging Google. And then like, it's just always getting around. He goes, yeah, I wish we could find a way to get around that. But he's like, but brilliant thing the guy did. So the client understands the, the situation. He understands also what's going on and he's okay with it. And I just told him there's, you know, it's amazing that he had the name of the steroid, but yeah, we're going to run into some issues with that. So there's some things there. Uh, there's a bunch of them, halo test, like all of these, or most of these things, this one's actually a derivative of what they call super draw. They call the heladrol. Super draw was a design of steroid in 2009 and then got banned in 2011. Uh, and now they're just like, they actually literally copied the bottle of super draw that was banned. Um, super draw banned. This one here was funny is if you look at the actual image of super draw back then, uh, this is it. This is the one that got banned anabolic extreme super draw. And they kind of like chose the same like halodrol, like they use the same kind of shape and everything. Pretty, pretty funny, but it's missing the 14th methyl ethylene that you need. So um, all this all, stuff here, we're never going to get around it. Google's just never going to let you to sell testosterone online. That is physical steroids. So testable and tribulus, Winstrol, D-Ball, DECA, Tranclen, all those things, we can't. Oh, even Sustan 250. There it is. There's another one that we can't. Before Google, you have, already, Google already doesn't like those, but for the other products that are like male enhancements, there is a way to get around this. And that is, and I already told them about it, and it's called, um, that's not health, it's uh, legit script. So legit script's like four or five grand. We did it for, and every single day, this little GIF updates, it says eight, five today, it's legit script certified. And then they just give you a link and it goes right to their homepage because it's not real. You pay legit script $5,000, they have you drop an HTML tag on the site. They say, wow, you own the site, ta-da, you're now certified. Here's your, here's your legit script. And we've never had a problem with ads ever since, even though I'm selling prescription medication for 74 bucks without a prescription. It was like, yeah, cool, right. So the way to get around this, and I told him, I said, hey, you pay their, their mafia fee of five grand, you get white labeled for the rest of your life with Google. And it's all done. He goes, all right, well, he's like, I'll, I'll see if I can contact him again. That's really the only way to stop this. We will run into this disapproval every other month. It's going to be 1,300 are disapproved. I'd like to have these 300 re-reviewed. You got 180 re-approved. By the way, these other 47 became disapproved. Exactly. It'll just run like this forever. It'll run, 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 run. Um, that's why Logiscript allows, or that's why Logiscript exists to ex essentially pull, you know, mafia money. I'm like, hey, We'll let you do the legal things, but we'll protect you. That's what it is. So it's really, really odd. But I told them all this yesterday. And so we're fine here. We're just going to have to keep asking for reviews. I have not seen the last two years a uh, re-review of products and resubmitted products lead to a suspension. I haven't seen it. So I'd be really, really surprised if that actually did happen. One last question then. Is there any uh, negative effects of leaving those disapproved products in the merchant center? Should I just go into the feed and exclude them or let, just let them stay in there? Um, if they're, if they're been excluded or if they're sorry, if they've been disapproved and they're not, they're, we have no chance of those ever coming back and then falling back off. I would just remove them from the feed. It's not going to hurt it, but I don't think it's going to probably look good for our suspension risk. If it says you keep growing in size of the disapproved, so it went from 30 to 40 to 50 to 60, just stop. So it probably would be good to remove those. Hey, everyone. All right. Today, we're going to be doing something different. And it's going to be kind of like a, um, we're going to call it the devil's advocate uh, video. So 